بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ ویل سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو ڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ لیسن فائیو فرام یونٹ نمبر ٹو وچ از رائٹنگ اینڈ پیج نمبر از تھرٹین یونٹ ٹو لیسن فائیو رائٹنگ پیج نمبر تھرٹین ریڈ دا پوائم اینڈ چوز دا کریکٹ ورڈ دا رائٹر ہیز جسٹ ریسیوڈ اور سینٹ ون ای میل سو آل یو ہیو ٹو ڈو از آفٹر ریڈنگ دا پوائم یو ہیو ٹو چوز دا کریکٹ ورڈ ویدر اٹس ریسیوڈ اور سینٹ ورڈس ان دی ان باکس آئی ایم ہیئر بائی دا کمپیوٹر بٹ اٹ ایزنٹ مائی ٹرن یٹ منس آن لائن اینڈ شاپنگ آن دی انٹرنیٹ I am a bit excited cause I can't wait to see if there's anything in the inbox for me. Mom's finished. Now it's my turn. Fingers crossed for a surprise. I sent emails this morning and I am waiting for replies. So here I go. Two mouse clicks. It's like magic and yippee. There is a message in the inbox for me. Eric Finney. So dear students, this poem is written by Eric Finney and the poet says that what's in the inbox? The poet is waiting for her mom. to be done with her online shopping so that she could check uh, her emails or her inbox on the internet because she can't wait to see if there is anything in the inbox for her so her mom is done with her online shopping and now it's the poet's turn fingers crossed for a surprise so she is excited for a surprise she because she sent emails this morning and now she is waiting for the replies now she clicks the mouse twice and for her it's like magic and yappy Now she is pleased and happy and she said, shouted, yuppie, there is a message. So she got a reply in her inbox. So dear students, here the correct word is received because the poet or the writer sent the emails in the morning and now she just got a replies from that person so here the writer has just received one email now dear students what word or phrase does the writer use one instead of because verse one and verse one the writer use the word cause instead of because number 2 is when she starts to do something was to now it's my turn so here i go when she starts to do something something she says now it's my turn to so here i go now now it's my turn so here i go Number three is to bring herself good luck. Verse two. To bring herself good luck, she says, fingers crossed. Four, when she is very pleased, in verse two, when she is very pleased, she says or she shouted, yuppie.
now dear students again here is writing emails complete the boxes with the correct phrases judy sent an email to sandra she started her email dear sandra and she finished her email love judy so in this blank you will write love judy tom sent an email to ali he started his email dear ali and he finished his email best wishes tom so in the first blank you will write dear and in the second blank you will write best wishes so this is the start of the email and the second one is the end of the email we start with dear and we end or we finish the email with best wishes or love now what email did mrs bat send to the school when sandra was ill number the sentences in the best order the first one has been done for you so the first one is okay first of all here are some options and they are mixed up all you have to do is that you will have to number these sentences in the best order so a is anabet c is best wishes e is dear mrs scott b is i am sorry to say that sandra is ill today okay c here is best wishes d is she has a cold and a headache and is going to stay in bed today e is dear mrs scott f is i hope she will be well enough for school on monday now dear students you have to number these sentences in the best order so the first one here is done dear mrs scott so there is the first here uh, this is the first one and the second is number 2 is number 2 sentence is i am sorry to say that sandra is ill today number 3 is she has a cold and a headache and is going to stay in bed today number 4 is i hope she will be well enough for school on monday number 5 is best wishes so this is the end of the email best wishes and number 6 is anna bed so let me read it for you again dear mrs scott i am sorry to say that sandra is ill today she has a cold and a headache and is going to stay in bed today i hope she will be well enough for school on monday best wishes anna bed now in the end here is an activity write an email from your mother to your teacher explain why you are not at school so dear students you can practice this activity with your friends or your teachers too as it is quoted that a practice made a man perfect so by practice you learn a lot in your life dear students this was your lecture for today i hope you all will understand this lecture and thank you so much allah hafiz